Hello all you super geniuses out there. Welcome to another video lecture from Super Genius 99. Uh, this, this chapter of this section is going to be over polynomial functions and particularly algebraic long division. Okay, so I'm going to go through with you the steps again, uh, hopefully this time a little more thoroughly. And what we'll be doing is we'll be taking a long division type problem and we're going to compare it to the steps of a, um, a regular integer division problem and you're going to see the similarities of how you do this. Okay, when you have a normal integer division problem like this, and it could be decimal as well, but I'm not going to go into decimal, usually what's the first thing you do? You reformat it by using this uh, division bar, fraction bar, division bar here, use another color, right? Something like this. So I'm going to do that over here. So just like in integer division, you start off with this bar. You're going to have this bar to set it up. Okay. When you're doing integer division, what number of these two numbers goes on the outside? It's the number in the second position, right? Goes here. Is that not how you do it? Well, that same thing, this second number, is going to go in the same position. And of course, there's only one number left. But what number goes on the inside? The first integer. So the first number goes inside this, uh, this division mechanism. So this first number is going to go inside this division mechanism. Okay. Then what comes next? Okay. What comes next is... Here, you say, how many times does 2 go into 1? Okay. Well, 2 doesn't go into 1, so then you say, how many times does 2 go into 10? And you just ask yourself that, and all you smart people out there, you probably already know, 2 goes into 10 how many times? Sorry, I'm getting another color. Sorry for this rambling. So 2 goes into 10 how many Five times. Now how, now, how do we do that? Because we said 2, 10 divided by 2 equals 5, right? So you did a mini division problem in your head. So as you're doing this big division problem, you do it by doing mini division problems, by taking individual chunks of the number. Okay, so, think, so remember that, individual chunks. And when you have the 5, because 2 goes into 10 five times, where does the 5 go? Does it go over the 1 or the 0? It goes over the last digit of the chunk that you took. So since the chunk was 10, the last number of the 10 is a 5. And so you put the uh, sorry, the last chunk of 10 is a 0. So you put the 5 over the 0. So remember that. I took a chunk, I divided it, and I put the result of that division problem over the, chunk, over the last digit in the chunk. Okay. Now, long division works similarly because there are, oops, let me turn that a little bit. Because there are two digits, mm -hmm, because there are two digits, the chunk that I take must consist of, excuse me, because there are two um, numbers here, even though one's a letter and one's a number, the variable is considered a number. Because we have two uh, uh, units, two, two types of numbers, alphanumeric, I must also take two individual numbers. So I'm going to divide my division problem is going to my division chunk is going to consist of these two. Okay? Because I have two, I need to take two in order to do the division problem. Because I have two, I need to take two. Now here it works a little bit different. We say how many times does x go into 2x squared? So our focus is how many times does the leading coefficient here 
go into the leading coefficient here. What is my chunk? Let me highlight that. My chunk is this. 2x squared minus 9x because there's, there's 2 here. I got to take 2 here. Okay. I say how many times does this leading coefficient go into this leading coefficient, or what times this leading coefficient goes in here, but it's really a division problem of what is 2x squared divided by x, okay? And of course, you know that is 2x, okay? Now, where's the 2x go? It goes over the last piece of the chunk, just like the 5 went over the the zero because the zero was the last chunk that I took out to do the division. This 2x is going to go over the last piece of the chunk. Where's the last piece of the chunk? 2x squared or 9x? 9x is the last piece of the chunk. So I put my 2x there. Okay. What happens in regular division after you find this 5? You do what? You multiply. You say 5 times 10. 5 times 2 equals 10. And then what's your next step? Mm -hmm. You, yes, you subtract. You get the difference. So it's 10 minus 10, 0. So we can put nothing there because it's 0. And then what? You bring the next piece down. So let's make sure we do that same thing over here. So let's do the same thing. So the first thing we do is multiply. Let's multiply. 2x times x and 2x times 1. All right, 2x times 1 is 2x, 2x times x is 2x squared. Let's subtract. So as I'm subtracting here, I'm going to rewrite this by adding a line and check. Well, well, we'll do it in a minute. So 2x squared minus 2x squared is nothing, so that goes away. Now here's the tricky part. Don't 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 get confused. You know, don't trip up and make a zero on your homework for nothing here. Negative nine x minus negative two x. So let's write down what we just said. Negative nine x minus negative two x. Is that correct? That's what I just said. Let's work that out. Negative 9x minus negative 2x is the same as negative 9x. Add the line, change the sign, plus 2x. So what's negative 9x plus 2x? Hope you can see this. Make sure it's still on the board. Negative 7x. That is correct. So the result of that is negative 7x. Okay. And then what's the next step? Bring the next unit down. So bring the next number down. So or the next piece down. The next piece is plus 4. Erase that. Okay. And then what do we do? We wash, we rinse, and we repeat. Right? So rinse and repeat. We got 2. We got 2. So we can do a step. How many times does x go into negative 7x? What times x gives me negative 7x? Are you answering this problem? What is that? Negative 7x divided by x is negative 7. So put our answer up here. Then what do we do? We multiply. Multiply what? Negative 7x times x minus 1. What is negative 7x times, my, times x minus 1? Okay. And then what's next? We subtract. It's like we had 5 times 2 equals 10. We subtract. So we're going to subtract here. So negative 7x plus 1. Minus negative 7x is what? Is nothing. If you don't believe me, do the scratch work. Negative 7x minus negative 7x 
make sure you have both negatives because I said negative 7x minus, there's one minus sign, negative, there's the negative, the negative sign x. What do we do when we have two negatives? Add the line, change the sign. So what's negative 7x plus 7x? Zero. Everything goes away on that part. Now it's 4 minus 7. What is 4 minus 7? I'm sorry, you can't see this, so I'll tilt it a little bit. There we go. 4 minus 7. That is a negative 3. We have no more numbers. We have no more numbers. So what do we do when we have no more numbers? Because we're all out of numbers. You, that becomes your remainder. Okay. So you have two ways of stating the result. That this 2x squared minus 9x plus 4 divided by x minus 1 has two possible answers. You can say what's up here. 2x minus 7, remainder of negative 3, or 2x minus 7 plus negative 3 over the divisor, x minus 1. So those are your two answers to the problem. Okay, I, I hope this helps, and I'll probably do some more. It's been a video lecture from SuperGenius99 over polynomial functions, algebraic long division. Mark Smithers, thank you for watching.